Good morning, AMUMC. Today is Monday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Let's get started in prayer. As we begin our time in prayer, let us pause and be still. Let us enter into his presence with our opening verse, Psalm 1914. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. As we take a moment to confess our sins, let us do so with the reminder that we are in need of his grace and forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins through Jesus Christ our Lord and strengthen us to live in the power of the Holy Spirit all of our days. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading from the book of Psalms is Psalm 41. I ask that you close your eyes and listen to these words. Blessed is he who regard, has regard for the weak. The Lord delivers him in time of trouble. The Lord will protect him and preserve his life. He will bless him in the land and not surrender him to the desires of his foes. The Lord will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from bed of illness. I said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, When will he die and his name perish? Whenever one comes to see me, he speaks falsely. While his heart gathers slander, then goes out and spreads it abroad. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying the vile disease has beset him and he will never get up from the place where he lies. Even my close friend whom I trusted, who he shared my bread, has lifted his heel against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Raise me up that I may repay them. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. In my integrity, you uphold me and set me in your presence forever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. Our reading from the gospel is Mark chapter 5, verse 1 through 10. Listen as Jesus gives the Sermon on the Mount. Now, when he saw the crowds, he went up on the mountainside and sat down. His disciples came to him, and he began to teach them by saying, Blessed is the poor in spirit, for theirs is the land, is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger for their thirst for righteousness for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure at heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And as we respond to today's readings, let us affirm our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was in, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From hence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now let us boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And now let us take a moment of silence to, to lift up our prayers and our concerns to our Father. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the filling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Now go with the grace and the love of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Just a reminder, you can also get an app called The Daily Office. It's a free app and it also has the morning prayers, um, evening prayers, midday prayers, and so on. If you pay, I think it's like a couple of dollars, then you can have the scriptures uh, already in it. So just something to think about. Love you guys. Bye.